Hey guys, I got a new belt to show you today. Um, I don't get to do this one very often, but when I do, uh, I love it. Um, this is actually the uh, Tomb Raider belt from the game Underworld. Um, this is actually a lot different from her normal uh, belts. It was just very, uh, a lot more military style. Um, and um, of course everything on there, the the designers made it custom uh, so there was no piece mail in it it was just all from scratch so uh, I'm gonna go over it today um, now this is made of complete leather uh, I mean it's all 100% leather uh, uh, genuine cowhide I, I cut it dye it stitch it um, so this will last forever if you take care of it um, now, uh, I did make the holsters, as you see, the holsters are just kind of open bottom um, holsters. Uh, most girls do like to use the custom uh, USP uh, pistol, um, which was actually used uh, first in the Angelina Jolie movie, and then it's just kind of been a, a staple for the Lara Croft Tomb Raider in the, in the movies and some of the games. Um, but anyway, this, this replica pistol is actually by uh, Treywick Designs. Um, of course, I usually uh, partner with Chad with Treywick Designs on most of my stuff to fit his uh, 3D models because they're so good. But uh, this is the, his USP uh, pistol. Um, has a working trigger. Uh, just a really great model. Um, so I did make the holsters fit that. But really, uh, they'll fit any uh, medium to small sized gun. And because it has an open bottom, um, you don't have to worry about uh, barrel length or anything. Um, now these do not come with it. You do have to buy those separately. Um, but I just wanted to show how well that fit. So, uh, but this is the rest of the belt. So you got two uh, thigh holsters with adjustable leg straps. Um, these are just parachute clips um, and then of course just like in the video game you've got a small pouch here um, that you know it doesn't fit a whole lot but it would fit an ID keys um, something small like that if you want to put that in there while you're cosplaying um, and just like the game it has a, a climber uh, hooked or attachment there if you want to hang anything from that um, and then um, the other side just has another holster, uh, no, no pouch. Uh, the right side's the only side that has a pouch. And then, of course, again, adjustable leg clips there. Um, and uh, now the buckle on the front here, it is 3D printed, but um, it is just for looks. It's not functional. It's just slid on there. Um, that does, uh, I did have to 3D model it, uh, because the buckle that they use in the video game, nothing looks like it. So I did have to model it to get the look exactly the way it's supposed to. Um, but it just slides on there. And, uh, just for looks, this belt does, uh, open and close in the back and adjusts in the back. So, um, but as I swing the model around here, uh, you've got two clip holders here. Um, and these are also uh, removable. Um, it's just uh, uh, looped around the belt with a snap. So if you ever want to move it or remove it, um, you can. And uh, so you've got those on the back there. And then on the very back, you've got the grenade holder. Um, now, just like in the video game, um, this is uh, made to just go on the back here. Uh, you've got three grenades, and in fact, this is just snapped on, so I'm going to unsnap it. And that's, that's all. It's just looped around the back, and it's just snapped together. And I do have a metal curved plate here just for reinforcement. Um, these are 3D printed grenades. Um, I do have metal pins in them just for, you know, to make them look legit, but, uh, but they are 3D printed looks just like it does in the video game and I've got these on the back because it basically covers where uh, the belt is adjustable and how the belt opens and closes so uh, that kind of hides that um, but as you see on the back here you've got uh, multiple snaps uh, that you can 
close it and tighten it, you know, adjust it however you need to. Um, these are leather snaps, so they are stiff, you know, they, it's not going to come open unless you want it to. Um, and, and really that's it. Uh, of course you can see I got the rivet showing of where the, the holsters are put together. These holsters were a bit of a challenge to make them look like, just like they do in the video game. Um, basically it's just, uh, I mean, it's, it is all leather, but then I've also got this silver, uh, border going around it just like it does in the video game. Um, and, uh, just to give it that correct look. But again, um, just the way that I made these with the open end and everything, you could probably use just about any gun with these, uh, and it would still work for you. But, uh, this is one of my favorite looking belts. Um, just because it, it really turned out looking exactly like the game and uh, it just uh, You know the the few that I've uh, Sold the girls when they've uh, gotten it and worn it um, They just said they feel like badasses in it and um, I understand why because it just it's just a really cool unique looking belt um, Everything on here can pretty much be slid off or adjusted um, but uh, I don't know why you'd want to because it just looks cool the way it is. But uh, anyway, that's just a small breakdown of, uh, of the Underworld Tomb Raider belt. Um, I do make pretty much every version of a Tomb Raider belt out of video game and a movie. So hopefully over time I'll, I'll be able to do videos on all of them and how they kind of differ and, and that type of stuff. But uh, anyway, um, that's it. And like always, if you guys got questions, feel free to uh, comment on, on the video and I'll, I'll answer it um, here on YouTube. Or if, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, Fan Fiction Props, or uh, find me on Facebook, uh, Fan Fiction Props, and it's under Michael Lobianco. Um, or if you just have a question and you want to email me, uh, fanfictionprops at gmail.com. Dot com and uh, thanks for watching see you guys next time